There was um, an entity. I lay down and I feel a hand on my neck. At my house before that, there's an entity. And I know what you're thinking. Shane, you're making all this up. No, they follow me. So, <laughs> and I've had psychics tell me that. And I am making this from my heart. I'm doing this as a demonologist. More importantly, I'm doing this because I care. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yes. I have hair extensions. <laughs> I did it. I couldn't help it. Okay. I decided one day, why not? And yeah, when you are about to turn 35, you decide, you realize, you know, your youth is almost gone. So you might as well enjoy it while you can. Voila! Ta da! I have hair. <laughs> I'm not a dyke anymore! Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. If you see me before, welcome back. My name is Melinda Lyons. I'm a psychic medium, a near-death experiencer, and a demonologist, and a witch. And an exorcist, basically. It's kind of the same thing in the demonology field. I want to answer a few questions you guys have been asking about Shane and his new videos. So in this video, we're gonna do a reaction. We're gonna talk about Shane Dawson's recent video, his newest one, well the, late, well, the first one of part one of uh, The Haunting of Shane Dawson. So if you haven't seen that video, it'll be down in the description box below. Uh, yes, I was featured in that video and we're gonna talk about it today because it really is important. First off, I'm a huge fan of Shane. I have been for a little while now, and I only recently discovered him about two and a half years ago, three years ago. He is hilarious. I think he's a really great YouTuber, and I would like to believe in a lot of ways without judging all these negative things people say about him that he's a good person. Aside from that, let's get right into it. A lot of people have been talking about, I mean, I've been seeing this all over the internet, a lot of people are saying that Shane has plummeted in his, that he's desperate, that he's done a new low blow, all this nonsense. And for me as a YouTuber, but more so as a person who takes the paranormal very seriously because I'm a psychic medium, I think that's really insulting to the paranormal community when people say this. I don't think that's fair. People in the paranormal community take the paranormal extremely seriously because deep down we know there is so much more to life than here in this present moment. And at the same time, we also are aware that our decisions will constitute our consciousness effects like how we will be in the other side so we like to take this very seriously shane dawson really does do a really good job in this in this series that he's already been producing and i'm really proud of him why because as a demonologist it's really important that we really talk about the paranormal as human beings and i think it's really great that he explored this area and he's done this before in the past in some of his other videos but not as heavily as he has now. As a psychic, what's my interpretation of all of this? The first initial thought was, oh my God, I'm in Shane Dawson's video. I couldn't believe that I was featured. I really was so overwhelmed that I, I, I burst it into tears. I really was overwhelmed. I couldn't even express my gratitude for being in his video because I never thought in a million years that he even watched it, that he even gave a shit. So it really spoke to me on a very deep level that, hey, he actually has, he has, he actually cares. He actually cares about what people post about him. And if you post something from the heart, it shows that he knows that. And I think that this is really, really telling about his character for even for me as a medium, 
I always knew deep down that a lot of the things that people say about him isn't uh, in, you know, entirely true. There's a lot of things that people say about me. People say things that I'm racist, that I'm, that I'm arrogant, that I'm a bigot. I can be stubborn, but I, am I racist? No, I'm not racist. And a lot of the things about people that say those things about him, you know, even psychically, I knew that it was, you know, intuitively, I knew that a lot of it was just harsh exaggerations. But let's get right down to the reaction of his video. I'm not going to go piece by piece by piece because uh, really most of his video is about the storytellings of the hauntings and about his experiences, uh, which were pretty pretty convincing, pretty interesting. But I think what was really uh, telling for me is when he went down into the basement. I've never had a basement before. It's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> and in this section, in this part, he goes into the basement and he introduces people. And it's really funny because he was afraid of it. I actually projected like out of myself and I found myself in his basement and I was with my spirit guides. And there are several guides that I work with and they tend to change from time to time, but I usually have a primary of three and I work with them consistently. And they know how I work. They know that, and they're very, uh, they're experts in demons, devils, and haunting experiences and how to alleviate and, and expel these negative forces. So they teach me a lot as we walk through people's homes and locations and even other realms. And I actually projected and I was in his basement and I was able to actually see the environment of his new home and see the energy and they told me to close my eyes so I did. And they said, read the energies and tell us what you see. Take your time, take as much time as you need. And this is actually part of a walkthrough, a psychic walkthrough. And you can do this astrally or you can do this physically. It works either way because the consciousness is the same on both frequencies. As long as the, the psychic is trained in meditation, harness that psychic ability, that training that you were given by your, by your spirit guides. And when I was in this situation with them, I was able to stand quietly in the threshold of his basement and I walked a little bit here and there not very much but I kept seeing as I said in my other video before I said that I kept seeing something on the floor and they said okay that's good what are you seeing and I said I keep seeing blood and they said just keep going Melinda just keep going and I said all right I keep seeing blood and I keep hearing the word murder 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 over over but I don't know if the murder happened here and this is really weird because I feel like the location is so big but I see it here but for some reason it doesn't feel like it might have happened maybe here or I don't know it's really confusing and they did validate to me that there was a murder on that location so uh, either on that location or somewhere on that land and the land has his of, of his new home the land has negative residual energy and if you're not sure what that is and if you're new to my channel negative residual energy is an energy force that can basically it's like a print an energy print it's like a scar an energy scar on the land and it can be in the trees in the ground even within the ocean and the areas of of water but a lot of the times it's usually not the ocean because water is um a natural healing element uh, a lot of the times it's one of the reasons why it's used in uh, holy water but when it comes down to the land itself i also kept seeing something about ancient ancient times i i keep picking up native american but i'm not entirely sure of that area and that's where i kept seeing the blood and the murder now i know a lot of people may think wait a minute you're just saying that because his recent video just came out and they talked about Native American. I want you to see the clip of where I mentioned about the blood and the murder and I want you to see that so you know this video was made before that video came out. So here's the clip. I'm having these huge deja vus, these huge massive deja vus, these visions happening all at once in my head and I'm seeing Shane, I'm at his house. I'm seeing these things. Now, I'm not saying any of this is going to happen, but I am actually projecting to his home a lot, and I do see his basement. It's not good. There's a lot of negative history in that location. The energy there is a lot of residual. They would have to absolutely cleanse that energy. It's pretty bad. 
Um, I don't know a lot, but I do know so far that's what my that's what I keep seeing. It's a lot of really, really bad. But I will say this. I almost keep seeing a murderer in his home, in his location, or a murderer. Um, I, I see that over and over and over. I keep seeing blood in their basement. Um, I think they need to do research on the history of that land. I made that mention before he came out with his second video. And do I know for sure why I saw this? No, but I do feel deeply that the location has a lot to do with negative residual energy. And that can simply be cleansed. From what I remember, and this is where it gets kind of difficult, but from what I remember, I was standing outside as well on his land. And I remember specifically my guides, and I asked them, I said, I don't understand, I keep seeing something to do with a portal. And they said, okay, well, and they did say that there, that's right, they said that there was a portal, but that it's been closed. There's a lot that's happened on that land. I hope it's been closed. I haven't seen it uh, thoroughly enough. I really haven't. The land is so large, but I do remember they said that there was a lot that's been cleansed. That's one of those things about moving to a new location that can bring possibilities of being haunted by another entity or because when you go to a new location like this, and you haven't been here before, you're gonna end up causing attraction to other spirits that will see you in that area. Whether it's, um, you know, demons or ghosts, you know, spirits. I usually just say spirits. I don't like the word ghosts. I don't know why, I just don't. I don't know, I never liked the word ghost. I just, I always figured that was more of something people say when they don't know what it is. So I usually know what it is and I just, I call, entities as spirit because that's what they are. I just, I just, it's fit for me. This is nothing against anyone who uses the term ghost, by the way. I just use the term spirit because I think that that identifies their sense of being of their existence. Ghost just seems kind of disrespectful to a spirit, to an entity, but that's me. That's how I feel. That doesn't mean that it's actually necessarily that way. His first episode was pretty good. Um, I definitely had a lot of flashbacks and visuals of seeing his location. There was actually one point where I was astral projected and I was in his living room and I was sitting with my guides and we watched and it was kind of weird but we watched as, as they were talking with each other and they didn't see us. I have this ability where I can actually go into certain scenes of movies, TV shows, and actually see it for how it was filmed. And I can actually see the backstages of things. Um, so it's almost like time traveling during a certain scene. I don't do it often, but it's one of those things that when I allow it to happen when my guides want me to. Personally, in my psychic view, I think that he depicted the haunting experiences very well. They obviously have done a lot of their research. I do like that they're not saying what they think they know right away. Like they're not saying this is what it is. They're saying we feel this might be it, but we don't really know. I like his transparency. I like that they're being honest about the fact that they don't know a lot about the paranormal and they're exploring this realm, they're exploring the unknown. And I think this is this is great. And so for people that are saying, you know, oh, Shane is, uh, you know, losing his touch, Shane is desperate, you know, they need to just go get a fucking life because seriously, in the paranormal world, this is fantastic. I seriously, honestly believe that if he continues with this, this could be, he could actually make this a legitimate thing if he was ever, if he ever wanted to, he would be very successful. It would be a really successful show if they took it seriously. You know, you, you, you'd have to really consider that factor. You know, besides what I think, what do you think of the first episode, The Haunting of Shane Dawson? By the way, a lot of people ask me, so I wanna answer that question, a lot of people ask me, Oh my God, Shane and you uh, collaborated, that's so awesome. <laughs> no, we didn't really collab together. Um, he took my video and he added it in there. I never heard from Shane. He never responded to me. He's never contacted me. Uh, I was confused at the same time, but then again, I wasn't because obviously I made the video for him. So I'm not mad. I'm not angry that he used my video. I was very honored and very thankful. And I just thought, wow, this is amazing. I'm, I, I, I still am overwhelmed and speechless that, that he used that. Because let's be real, 
I'm still an extremely small channel. So compared to someone like Shane Dawson, that's like getting a high five from like Kevin Hart. It's a huge honor. It's a big deal. I think it's a huge big deal. Like a lot of people keep talking shit about him. And I just think that's what's really angering me is because I don't know him as a person. Obviously, I don't know him as a person and I don't like to judge people that I don't know. Okay, so I just had to move my mic because I know there's a lot of sound with my hair. So I hope that is better now. I'm sorry about all that kind of static sound if you were annoyed at that. Um, I'm trying to get used to this this, these extensions. I was not made aware that Shane was going to feature me in his channel, in his recent videos. I was not made aware of this at all. Um, they didn't ask me for permission, anything like that. But aside from it, it's fine because he still went uh, within the uh, policy of what it means to use uh, another YouTuber's content fairly, uh, either through criticism or comments, and he didn't criticize any of my work. In fact, he's been showing support in all of my psychic readings based on his haunting experiences. I will say this, is that ever since this happened, ever since this came to light, ever since I saw this, and it was so crazy because I was so excited for the past like two months. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited about October. I'm so excited about October, and I don't know why. And I kept thinking maybe it's, uh, you know, Halloween. I'm so excited about Halloween. Now I'm realizing it was so much more than that. It was so much more. It was, you know, freaking Shane featuring me on his channel and then having this, <laughs> I admit, having my new hair. And um, I know that sounds really stupid to a lot of people. It may even seem like egoic, but let me be very clear about something. I haven't lost my higher self in any way, shape, or form. I meditate daily, I work with my guides every single day, and I really do care about awakening consciousness, like awakening people to their higher self. That's never, that's never going to change. And more importantly, bringing awareness to the paranormal world in the paranormal world about awareness of the paranormal and being a part of Shane's video, being a part of that awareness Guys, it's a dream come true. It's, I can't express how grateful I am without crying all over the camera, all over, <laughs> and I don't want to because this took a while, okay? <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Every single day, I have been struggling with doubt about my abilities, about my credibility, about no one's going to believe me. It really was getting to the point where I was about to give up. No joke. I was contemplating it for the past year and all of a sudden this happens and it was the oxygen I needed to sustain how much work I've put into all of this and to know that this was at the right timing like there is divine timing for a lot of things not everything but a lot of things and I can tell you this much Shane brought me back to life in a lot of ways. I know that sounds stupid, but I've been working so hard at people taking me seriously. I've been working so hard at working my ass off at studying. I mean, I've got books sitting right here, loads of books and ordering more and constantly writing new books. I'm working on two right now as we speak and I'm always trying to better my craft. I'm always trying to to better my my higher self and bring about my authenticity more and more every day. Shane, if you're watching, Ryland, all of you, you have no idea how much this means to me. Every single moment of my life has been a struggle. And I've struggled for a long time with people taking me seriously. And I do this from the bottom of my heart. I don't do this for clout. I don't do this for ego. And I say that all the time because people keep saying that and it's ridiculous. Just because I wear makeup or I have, you know, anger sometimes, that's my fire side. 
Just because I have those emotions doesn't mean I've lost what it means to be a higher sense of self. People have no clue how much more I'm capable, what, what I'm capable of. There's still so much more to my abilities that a lot of people don't know about. This is like a whole new level of, of a chance. This is a whole, it feels like I was just born again. I know that sounds stupid. I'm not calling Shane Jesus Christ. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that because of him, he gave me a chance to keep going. He gave me hope again. He gave me a big piece of hope that I can never describe without going way too long into detail. I've already cried my tears. I'm in just a very happy moment. I'm very grateful. I'm very, very, very grateful in this moment. And all I can say to Shane is thank you from the bottom of my soul, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You are, you're, you're amazing, thank you. Now, aside from that though, if, if Shane ever needs advice on the paranormal, if he ever wants to talk about anything, he needs help with something, if they have questions, you know, I'm not going to charge them, obviously. I'm, I don't charge people uh, for my time when it comes down to that, okay? So, especially with a YouTuber, with a fellow YouTuber, that's, it's called collaboration. It's you know, it's a give and take. It's an equal, it's an equal share. I'm just saying that if, if he needs any help, if, if he needs any help, Shane, if you need help, of course, I will answer any questions you have about the paranormal, about anything. Granted, they never asked me, but I think it's because I gave him the answers that he needed already and he didn't really need anything else. So if anything else comes up and other situations occur, of course, I'll, I'll be there to answer any concerns that they have. And that's, that's my duty as a demonologist. That's my job. I wanted to just give my insight uh, on the first episode of The Haunting of Shane Dawson of that series. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for new subscribers. If you're new, welcome and thank you so much for being a part of the of my channel. And also, I know that I seem kind of psycho. I know that I yell. and um, But here's the thing. There, I'm going to be honestly just point blank, straight up, that's who I am. I'm not going to lie about who I am on camera. I'm not going to give you a personality that matches what is supposed to be a psychic. That's not me. I am 1000% genuine in my emotions and who I am as a person because that's what it means to be human. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of my channel and more importantly if you have questions or concerns about the paranormal you can go to my website at lastfrontiermedium.com where you can ask for help at my paranormal advisory page. I do charge a small fee uh, when it comes to applying for and scheduling with me. It's a scheduling fee, but that's only so that way I know for sure that you're not going to skip out on me and blow me off. That's honestly, that's the reason because I've had a lot of people do that and doing it for free. That's my time. That's not fair. I have a lot of people waiting. So, but if you also are having other concerns or issues, again, you can go to my website, lastfrontiermedium.com. But also, guys, if you're interested in my candles, ascended candles, don't forget I have ascended candles and my candles are amazing. They smell amazing. Thank you so much, all of you, for um, for the amazing, beautiful reviews. I am so thankful for those reviews. I'm just so happy that you guys are liking the candles and you're giving it a shot. And by the way, again, if you guys don't know, I hand make all of these. I buy all the products myself. I hand pour them. I do everything myself and it's a lot of work. So if you're complaining about the price, actually it's really cheap compared to <clears throat> some YouTubers who charge 30 to $40 or even $50 for one candle. And I almost bet you they're not even making them themselves. So I am charging $13.13 .13 for my scented candles right now. So for my fall line. And by the way, once October, well, I might continue selling them in November. But still, once they're up, they're gone. So make sure you get yourself your candles if you're interested. Check them out again at ascendedcandles.com. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of everything on this channel and being a part with me on, on this journey. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.